So another discussion that was going around on the uh, RV forum was the fact that the uh, Dometic refrigerator heater strip runs while you're in the battery mode which when you're boondocking will heat up a lot more battery and you really don't need the heater strip running while you're on batteries so the medic I guess to save cost took the switch off of the uh, refrigerator where they used to have it at least on this model which is the uh, 2652 uh, very common very common one but it has no switch that you can turn the heater strip off so uh, I looked at several options one of the popular options is to uh, go into the refrigerator and cut the uh, the wire that feeds the strip that way you would have a light but you would have no heater uh, but you would have no heater when you're on AC also uh, so I didn't really want to get away too far away from stock uh, in case I had warranty issues or whatever I don't even know if it's still in warranty for that matter but um, anyway my solution was to install this little switch right here but here's my wire coming off of the this panel right here it's J2 uh, J2 is the heater for the uh, that goes up into the refrigerator door So let me see if I can clip this on here. Okay. So you can see that we've got uh, about 0.4 amps that the uh, heater strip is drawing right now. So we turn the switch off and uh, we uh, we lose that. Uh, we lose that amp draw. So if we're boondocking, you know, you're saving about 0.4 amps, uh, 400 milliamps. Uh, you know, it's not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Uh, it's um, the other. The other the thing is the uh, solenoid valve right here. There's nothing I can do about that unless I want to turn the refrigerator off. So you can see the, the solenoid is drawing about a quarter of an amp. That's holding the gas open to the pilot light on the uh, refrigerator. Really nothing you can do about that. That's the cost of running the refrigerator. But uh, the point four here is pretty significant. So, um, I think that'll help, you know, in the course of a day, there'll be less time uh, running the generator, etc., etc. Of course, I won't have a light in the uh, inside of the refrigerator right now because uh, the, this, this is actually, this is your wire right here that goes through the refrigerator, right here. One's ground. And now I'm running through a switch and I'm going back into the low control panel. J2 is the, uh, the terminal. So J2 comes, o comes off over here. Normally it goes straight to the heater strip and straight to the uh, light. But uh, I bypassed it. Uh, came over here. Just went to the switch. Through the switch. And back up to the refrigerator. Uh, if I need to go back, uh, I haven't cut cut anything here. It's the same original wire. So if I wanted to go back, all I gotta do is remove this and uh, pop this cover off and plug it back in and I'm back like I was in the first place. Uh, this may not be too pretty, but 
really what inside of this panel is pretty it's pretty much a big cluster so uh, if you want to save off a little under a half amp when you're boondocking this is one way you can do it